Hi guys. You know what I've learned about finding God? It's just like the more you press on, He'll be able to hear you and He'll be able to. I remember when I was in Haiti, I was like 10 or 8 years old. My older sister, she was uh, actually a Christian. She was the only Christian in the household. So she would. So when I was like 8, uh, we would go to church together and stuff like that. So I would go to church every Sunday. Thanksgiving. To basically every Sunday I would go to church. Then I remember one time. As I was getting older. I think I might have been 11. Then I started having these dreams where Jesus would come in the dream. But I wouldn't understand the dream. Jesus would come but I, in the dream I would see that my sister goes to heaven. But whereas for me. I was left behind. I started crying. Whenever I have these dreams, I started crying. And I'm asking, God, God, why is it that my sister always end up going to heaven? And me, I stay behind. But at the time, I didn't understand it. Then I would have these dreams like numerous times, like multiple times. So often, I wouldn't even get it. I, I wouldn't pay mind. So I wouldn't tell nobody about it. But I would keep it to myself because I didn't understand the dream. But then, when it was time for me, then we came to the u.s when we came to the u.s then in my mind when i came i'm like uh -uh, i don't want to go to church i'm just going to do me my plan was like i'm going to go to the clubs when i'm older so i'm about to live lavish because that's what i thought was living lavish i'm like i'm going to go to the club i'm going to hit the i'm going to do everything that i'm not supposed to do in a sense but basically i had plans to just go to the club and live life but i didn't understand but then my younger sister and my older sister, they would go to church. There was a church that I was like next door. Next door. The street for the car to pass was the only thing that separated us from the church. So my sister and my oldest, my younger sister and my older sister, they would go to the church. When they go to church and the people at the church, they would be asking, where's love now? And in my mind, I didn't want to go. So I stay, I stay at the house with my mom. Then do nothing. I stay in the house watch tv every sunday that's what i would do then stay in the house all of a sudden then had this fully to, like i had this fully fully and i was like i was like let me try to go to catholic church but i used to go to catholic church not because i wanted to go but because my cousins were, go were going there so i wanted to tag along with them just to see them so i went along so i spent a few sundays going to catholic church then I don't know, I kept going, I kept going, then I wasn't going for church, I was just going just to go, because I, I was new from the U.S., I didn't even speak English, so it was my time to actually be around other people, so I went. Then there was this time in August, that was August 2008, there, there, there was a vacation Bible school at my sister's church, my younger sister and my older sister, they all went. So when they went and I didn't go, so the people asked for me. They told them I didn't go. So since the church was a street over, say they walk over to the house and trying to get me to go to Bible study. I'm like, nah, I don't want to go to Bible, vacation Bible school. I don't know I was 13, so I was like, my head was. I've always been strong-willed. If I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. So they asked me like, like to come. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to come. So I told them I didn't want to come, but every every other week somebody new came. Then there was this the lady that was in charge of the VBS. She came. She liked me in a sense. She she respected me. You know what I'm saying? She 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 sees something I didn't I didn't see. So she would talk to me about God, da, 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 but I would hear it. It would go in here and come out of there because I didn't really care. You know what I'm saying? I'm young. I don't know. I didn't want it that way. So they kept asking me, kept asking me, but I wasn't into it then. When it was December 31st, 2009, I think. I think it was 2009, 2008, that same year. So it was that time. Then I went to the church. Then they, the church normally have two services, one inside, one out. So since I didn't speak English, I'm like, I'm going to just go to the inside service. So I sit with the elders, the elders, I sit with the older people. So I sit in that big crowd. So then as I started learning English, 
Then I was like, maybe I should start going outside. But I didn't go. But then, every Sunday, the church would have altar call. You know, for people to come to Jesus. My spirit will tell me go, but me, since I'm shy, I'm like, nah, I'm not going. So every Sunday, I say, I'm going to go. Every Sunday, turn into next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday. So I never actually made that walk. Then there was this time, my sister, you know, when we came, she used to braid hair. So there was this lady that came over. She was doing the lady's hair. So the lady was talking about God. Da, da, da. I was in the room at the time. They were talking about God, da, 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 how when we die, we go to heaven. If we don't know Christ, we ended up going to hell and stuff like that. Da, 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 da. Then I got intrigued. I was in my room. I came outside. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even have to pursue me to come outside. I was just like, I just came out. I went outside. So I went outside. She was in the living room. So I sat on the couch. Then she was telling me more story. But as a kid, like, I was always intrigued about it. Like, the whole heaven, hell, how it works. Yeah, I was intrigued. I wanted to know how it works and stuff like that. But but I didn't know the intensity of the work or how to get there. You know what I'm saying? The, so I was, I simply know that for sure that I didn't want to go to hell. I just wanted Jesus because I don't want to go to hell. That was my mindset. Then... I came outside and she started talking to me and my younger sister. She was telling us da 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 da. da. Then I was like, I might as well accept Jesus here because it's right here. I ain't gotta walk in front of people for them to look at me. So you know, I was shy. Like I'm not as shy as I was, but I'm I was shy. I'm not because I didn't speak English. So the best thing that I could have used as an excuse is shy because when you can't speak English you don't want to speak say things that people would laugh at you so it was just say you're shy so you won't speak so she prayed with us after she prayed with us then I started going to church every Sunday then I kept going kept going I think two years later I got baptized although I got baptized but although I got baptized I wasn't doing anything wrong in terms of what I think was drastic, but I, but I didn't I still didn't fully understand what was sin, how sin works. All I knew is just that I didn't want to go to hell for sure. So I, I get Jesus. But then I, I was going to church, doing everything that I needed to do. But in my mind, I, I was still thinking of this X sin is bigger than this sin, X sin, this that. But I learned. All sins are equal. There's no sins that are greater than other sins. I could. Somebody could either do something that is considered to be drastically wrong and something that's like, oh, it's not that. But it's all, they all have the same penalty, which is death. So then I learned that. I kept walking, walking, trying to grow. But then, after I gra, I, I was still in church and stuff. Uh, after I graduated college, I was like twenty three. Then there was Pastor Mike Todd. This was in two thousand seventeen or two thousand. I think two thousand eighteen. There was Pastor Mike Todd. Now. After I graduated college, then there was Pastor Mike Todd. He would, he would have sermons online, so I would go and watch, watch. Then when I when I started watching these sermons, I was intrigued by the relationship goals, cause I I wanted to know what was relationship, so I wanted to learn more about relationship. But then I ended up learning relationship with God. Da da da. da. Then I ended up watching the series. It helped me with growing my relationship with God, with men. Not men as in guy, but in you men. With you men. And how to be a better person and stuff like that. So as I learn these things, so I've been trying to grow each day better and better, become better Christians and stuff. And then after I learned all these things from him, I took it on another notch. That's when I started looking for other YouTube sermons, other YouTube preachers that's going to help. So I, I, I ended up like 
finding a big catalog of like YouTube sermon that helped me grow with my relationship with God, understanding the characteristic of God, who he is, how he acts, his how he loves us. You know what I'm saying? We don't understand it, but the as I kept doing my in-depth studies, I got more in more interested in it and my life has been better. It has genuinely speaking because I remember before I got like really serious I would have one good week then I'll have a bad week one good week then I'll have a bad week like something might happen something that would cause the week to not be as good as it was before then it would be like on on enough and I was like I got tired of that but I didn't understand what I, need, what I needed to do but as soon as I got really in, in alignment understanding that God come first it's not easy but if it's something that you want to do, God's going to help just ask for help. And he got us. He, and the craziest thing is, too, God always sent people in our, like, on our path to lead us while we need it. Whoever, like, he going to send somebody on our path to lead us where we need to get. So after I got connected with God, is I got connected because I wanted something from God. But I didn't understand that before I got that something, I needed to really get Jesus first in terms of get him. Because if I understand who I am in him and where my foundation is and what he says about me, the plans he has for me and all of that, then I wouldn't be able to appreciate the things that I was asking of him. So he took me on a... Was it two year? It was almost two year journey of teaching me the real thing about him, who he is, how he works, and the things that I needed to do. And it changed my life. Then I got, then I got like after that, then I've been more hungry than ever. I look for more things that's going feed my spirit in terms of Christian things things that are of God and also too I've also learned things that are like test every spirit don't just take something that someone tells you just test it by prayers scriptures God helps and he is holy all the glory belongs to him so this is how so after I did all these little in depth studies so I got into I got connected with God then every day I started doing my little devotionals and stuff like that but it's getting better the more I do it it becomes a second nature so we're gonna keep doing it because God deserves all the glory and this is how I find God this was my story to close I know I should have started with prayer but I, I literally forgot but I won't close up with prayer God knows it all dear heavenly father in heaven I come before the Lord Jesus we thank you for enabling me to do this right now I know it's just the beginning of it all but I know that you are holy you reign deserve all the glory God we ask for forgiveness for our sins we know that you hear all things and see our heart to see where we're operating from God I pray that you don't let this be about me to the point where I forget about you have me always put you first lift you up because you are the father the alpha the omega the beginning and the end after you there is no one else it is you all you you, you. <laughs> it is you God like after you, there's no one else, God. And I pray that you be with me as I'm going to continue tonight. And we thank you in advance for your favor and mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, this is it. This is it.
Kevin Dapp, for real, 